Hey everyone! Today we're working through our glutes, which is my personal favorite area to train. So I've got six exercises for you, which are really targeted at strengthening around your entire hip region, but it'll also give you that lift and that toning effect that we're after as well, which is always a bonus. So our timings today will be one minute each exercise with that 15 second rest, and then our next exercise. Um, so towards that last minute of each exercise, I'll be giving you 15 seconds of pulses. So listen out for that, and we'll get that nice big burn through our glute. it would be awesome. Alrighty, so our first exercise is our clams. Down onto your mat, lie down. Make sure your heels are in line with your bottom. Are you just gonna lift the top knee up towards the sky just a little, and then lower it back down, keeping a little space below that knee, and then we exhale to lift. So I'm keeping my core really strong here, not changing any shape around here, but my hip bones just pointing straight forward. I'm really working this glute here called the glute med to lift that knee. So for me, I don't need to lift my knee up very high, everyone will have a different range. So just think, squeeze here and lift that knee. Nice one. So it's just gonna be an exercise that slowly builds, doesn't feel like too much to start with. Just getting deep into the glute here. Nice, let's lift the next one up and hold, and little pulses. So just bring that knee up and down just a centimetre, keep that core tight, but keep squeezing here. Beautiful, so slowly building. Nice, rest the leg back down, beautiful. We're gonna add a bit more internal rotation now, getting deeper into the hip socket. So getting ready to start in about five seconds, Stay in the same position. You can pop that hand here to rest if you need. Lift the leg, knee towards the floor, turning in, and then we exhale and press the leg to the sky. So inhale to lower the knee down towards the floor. Exhale, press up towards the sky again. So using that same glute muscle here to press. Same thing around the core, staying nice and steady. Beautiful. And so your arm really can just do anything here. You can use it as a pillow. You can lie down if that's suitable for you. I'm just gonna stay up like this so I can see you. Beautiful. Almost there. So keep turning in from the hip socket, pressing up. I'm just aiming for that diagonal line with my toes up. That's in. We'll hold the next one up, bring it back down to hip level, and little pulses. So just lift up and down an inch. Almost there, we have three, two, and one. Rest it back down. Good job, guys. Coming up onto our fours this time. We'll go into our bent knee presses. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips here. Tummy drawing in tight. Lift the right knee. Exhale, press the glutes. Good, so bring the knee back in underneath you and exhale to extend the leg. So I'm aiming to keep my hip bones nice and level. Again, my trunk is just staying really steady. And at the top, making sure we really squeeze the glute here. Beautiful. So now this muscle we're working is more the glute mat. So that big muscle here that gives that big shape. And it's my left glute here that is stabilizing. So you'll probably feel some burn around that area as well. So keep that rib to hip connection here so no changing of this distance between my thumb and my finger. We'll hold the next one back and little pulses. So keep reaching the toes further away from your head, squeeze the glutes each time. And rest it back down, doing very well. We'll go into our uh, fire hydrant next, so staying in the same position. This time we'll be taking the knee up and out to the side. So core pulling in tight away from the floor. Lift that knee again, bring the leg out to the side and then lower it back down, just keeping it sweeping across the floor. So again, each person's distance of that knee will be different. Their range will come up either higher or lower. Just work within your range where you find that your hips aren't rocking and you're cheating to get extra movement. It's all about that isolated work through that glute. Keep spreading the fingers through the floor so we're getting that nice 
engagement around the shoulder blades. The core is pulling in tight once again. Nice, the neck is long, so just looking just out in front of you a little. Hold the next one out, we'll finish with those pulses again. Hold it up and a little inch up and down. Okay, so this time we're going to our side lounging position. So just propping yourself up onto that elbow. It's kind of like we're chilling out at the beach. We'll keep that bottom leg just low here. Sorry, bent. And we'll keep that leg lifted. We'll go for forward sweeps. And then exhale, flex the toes back towards your face and press the leg back. So inhale to sweep the leg forward. And then we leave at the heel as we press back. Again, squeeze into that glute as we bring it behind. Nice, try not to, to collapse through the shoulder. Lift yourself up. I'm not relaxing too much into the bit here. I like to imagine my foot's just sweeping along a table. And so it stays the same height, in line with that hip bone the whole time. And the top hand here can either rest or onto the hip. Good job, I've got one more, then we hold it back and we'll pulse it out once again. Keep it in line with your hip, little lift and lowers. Final five, three, two, and one. Rest the leg down, well done guys. So laying down on your back this time for our glute bridges. Hands are down by your side, heels just a hand distance from your bottom. Tap the tailbone under. Scoop the belly in, roll up into your first bridge at the top. Make sure the two hip bones are level, squeezing the glutes, and then you roll down, bone by bone, all the way down. So you can stay here with both of those heels down on the floor, or join me with a single glute variation. So bring the one leg to tabletop, we roll up into that bridge, and then we roll all the way back down. So here I'm focusing on pressing my right heel through the floor to lift the hips up, Squeezing that glute again and through that hamstring, you'll feel that work there. Roll down. So tuck under, lift up, squeeze at the top, and roll the back down. Yeah. Great work. We're going to hold the next one up here and little pulses. So lower down an inch, lift up an inch. Lower and lift. This will be where the burn starts to set in, particularly through those hamstrings and into that smile of the glute. And roll all the way back down. Nice job, guys. You can just tuck those knees in. Great work so far, everyone. We're going to do our second side now. So the other leg. Let's start here. So we're doing clamps. So laying back down. Heels are in line with my bottom once again. So just lifting that top knee to the sky and then lowering it back down. So keeping those two hip bones pointing forward once again. And focusing on this muscle. So sometimes I'll hold my hand here. That's where we're really working. So you can use that mind and body connection. The abs are pulling in tight just to support and keep the hips really stable. And remember to keep that little gap below that leg. Squeeze the heels together as well, really helps to set in from here. We'll hold the next one up for those pulses. So go ahead, lift and hold, and then lower centimeter, lift a centimeter. So that kind of build again, that deep work that is happening. You know it's working. And rest. So we're staying in the same position, ready for that internal rotation to press. So we'll bring that top leg up, turn the knee towards the floor, down and exhale to extend the leg. Lowering the leg down just nice and slowly and press the leg back up. The bottom leg's just staying there to stabilize us, so it's just kind of bent out of the way. Good. Same glue we're working. Getting ready 
for those pulses again. Press and hold the next one up. Lower the leg down just a smidge and then lower and lift. So keeping everything in one straight line. We love our pulses to just get that extra burn. And rest the leg back down, quick little tap out. Coming up into our four point kneel for our kickbacks. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath those hips. Tummy pulling in tight, same leg we're working. Lift the left knee and exhale, press and squeeze that glute. Bring the knee back in nice and slowly and then reach it back. Good, focusing from our head here, it's nice and long through our neck. Neutral spine, so not rounding at all. Keep it nice and flat. And the hips are square. So if I had two torches on my hip bones, they're pointing straight down. And they lost my balance. Last one, and then we pull it back, hold it there, little pulses. So heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down. Squeezing each time, keeping those ribs at the front here. And rest the knee back down. Nice. We've got our fire hydrant, so in that same position here, and we'll be taking that knee out, up and out, and then sweeping it back in. So just shake out if you need, getting ready. Lift the knee and turn the knee up and out. Bring the knee directly back underneath you. So I love these uh, four point kneeling exercises because I'm really working my obliques as well as I'm keeping my hips really steady and that requires those abdominals. Always find I start sweating in these four point kneeling positions as well for some reason. I think because there's a lot of muscles working at the same time. Keep the weight back over the hips, meaning we're not leaning too far forward here. Keep the weight, weight back. We hold this one up, pulse it out. Easing nice and tight. Little child pose. Side lounging glutes. We're almost there. These are our leg sweeps. So popping yourself up onto your elbow again. Bottom leg is just bent out of the way. Extend that top leg. Here we go. We sweep it forward across that imaginary table. Flex the toes back. Pull back. And again, squeeze here. So everything's just maintaining steadiness through our trunk. Zipping up those lower abdominals. And I just flex the toes back so I get that nice engagement through my hamstring, a little bit more through the glutes as well. Staying strong and lifted from that shoulder. Pretty easy here just to collapse and chill out. We'll keep everything really switched on. Take the next one back. We hold it at hip height. And then we start those little pulses up and down an inch, keeping this underside waist lifted. Good job. Ready to go. And rest it down. Okay, straight on our backs for our single glute bridges. Okay, so my heels are just about a hand distance away from my bottom. I'm starting with both heels on. Tuck the tailbone under. Start squeezing into those glutes, roll up into your first bridge. Again, contract the glutes even more at the top and then roll all the way back down. I'm going for that single. You can choose to keep both legs down if you wish. Right leg to tabletop, roll it up. Bone by bone as we lower. Bone by bone as we roll up.
Definitely more hamstring in this particular exercise out of all the other ones so far. We hold the next one up, ready for our pulses. Awesome, let's go. Lift and lower those hips. So everything lowers, everything lifts. Really give it everything you've got. Squeeze through those glutes to lift. And roll all the way back down. Thanks for joining me guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you've got a little bit more extra juice in you, why don't you try and go for one more round of each exercise. If not, awesome work. You've worked really strong around those hips. Built the glutes, which is always better than doing nothing. So until next time, I'll see you on the mat.